All right, hey guys, now we're going to take your news package to the next level. Um, in the previous assignment, when you did your interviews, you created your own uh, lower third. Some of them were really good. Some of them were not so good. So one of the things that you're going to learn as you progress in your video production career is that templates and the same look and marketing and branding are all very important. And if you have everything the same, it all looks uniform and it looks great when you're actually going to use it in your video production. So I'm going to use just this football film here, but I'm going to show you how to import the template uh, lower third that we're going to use for the rest of our assignments as we move forward. It's a little bit different than the other ways that you've done it, so you need to make extremely sure that you pay attention to how you do this. So I'm going to go to Media Browser and I am going to go to the C drive and then users and I'm going to go find my name so TY1 that's my login whatever your login is double click it and go to downloads because you've already downloaded the footage because you did what you were asked before and it's going to take just a moment again it's a big it's a big system doing big stuff so give it some time and you're going to find The Rockdale Live lower third. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to drag it to right over where it says Premiere Pro Training on mine and drop it down in here. If you don't drag it, if you double click it, this will not work the way you want it to. So there it goes. I'm going to open it. It's doing whatever magic it does. It's opening the dynamic link server, which basically says it's going to pull from After Effects into Premiere Pro. Now what I've done in creating this lower third is I've made it a template. So you don't have to go into After Effects to open it and edit it. You can edit it right in Premiere Pro. Uh, another reason to really use uh, the Adobe suite of products. So this is taking a little while. Um, but I'm going to pause the video and come right back. So hang on a moment. All right, so it finally imported. It only took about 30 seconds, but I didn't want to sit there and tap dance longer than that. So. Here is the, op the next option. You'll go to pre-comps, lower third pre-comp, and pre-comp is short for pre-composition, and click OK. So now it brings that in right here, and I'm going to double click on it. You can see main text line here, subtext line here. If you go to effect controls, and you type in why they're important and who they are, so full name, and on here I have homeschool, but that um, is a template that we use for something else, but we're, we're multi-purposing it. So you need to put the first the person's name, their full name, Tom White, and then, you know, um, if you're doing a story about basketball, a basketball player or, or a basketball fan, whatever, in that homeschool area. So now what I'm going to do is drag and drop that right there, and you'll see that it animates on, and it stays on for long enough it's a lower third it looks good it's clean it's readable and then it will animate away nice and easy professional looking lower third now one thing you need to make certain of because your assignment requires you to have two interviews and a stand-up you need to make sure you change that so Tom White would be that one and then you go through the process again to bring in another copy of it so if you're going to uh, enter, you know, your second interview or your stand-up, whatever. So go through the process again. This time it'll work a little quicker. And click OK. And it's going to be somewhere. Where does it go? There it is. So I'm going to double click. Effect controls. Name 2. And then I'm going to change this to name 2. And you will do just like you did before, drag it to where you want it in the composition, and there you go. So pretty easy, pretty simple uh, thing to get started with, um, but you have to make sure that you go through the media browser, and then you go to the C drive, and then your username, and then downloads, and bring it in that way. If you do not bring it in that way, it will not work the way you want it to. It will actually be quite frustrating for you. Uh, if you do it this way, you have some really good looking lower thirds. And you can edit it just like you can anything else. So there it goes. It goes away. Um, and I'll do the same here. So now edits in and just simply goes away without editing out. So 
enjoy that. Uh, make sure that you take your time and do it correctly. Don't get frustrated with it. Go through the media browser, click and drag it into your project window. Make sure you change the name on it.